The runner-up of the primary election in 2015, David Adewe's intentions are now clear. The reason why I'm here is to formally declare that I want to run for the office of governor of Delta State. As one of the aspirants in the ruling party PDP in Delta State, Edewe officially declares his intentions and he is also consulting stakeholders to contest the governorship seat in Delta State. Speaking at the PDP Secretariat in Asaba, the Delta State capital, Edewe highlights his manifesto and says he will begin with a transmission of a 24-hour energy supply. I have worked. I have worked in both the private sector and the public sector. And I've worked in every single continent in the world. I have worked at one point or another. So I am speaking based on personal experience of development. The number one ingredient for development, the number one factor that must exist is constant power supply. Without that, we're wasting our time. He also promises to continue enabling a secured state, building on the achievements of Governor Ifaino Kowa's administration in the security sector, especially by maintaining a transformed set up by the administration to help tackle insecurity. I see no reason why we cannot be using drones as part of our security architecture. I see no reasons why we cannot have CCTVs as part of our security architecture. These things are not dreams. They happen elsewhere. We can make them happen here too. Those are short-term measures. The long-term measure to improve security really is industrialization. If you've been in this state for long enough, you will know that if you go from north to central to south, practically all the companies that existed about 25 years ago in terms of manufacturing companies are all gone. And that is why we have a, a situation where a number of people who have been produced as graduates are roaming the streets as unemployed. Senator Dr. Ifanyo Okowa has done a fantastic job in creating jobs for our people. I know because I was part of it. Adewe was a commissioner for finance Delta State from 1999 to 2006 and 2015 to 2019. He was also director of finance and strategy, Yardua campaign organization. He was also a principal secretary to President Umaru Musa Yardua, now deceased, and recently chief of staff to the governor of Delta State. With his experience, he promises to restructure Delta State. With his manifesto and over 20 years of experience in public office, he is hoping to get the PDP's governorship ticket for the 2023 general election. Not only must we keep the bar as high as it has been since 1999 when we elected three incredibly qualified and charismatic leaders as PDP governors of Delta State, we also need somebody to navigate the stormy waters we are going to pass through. Jemima Boloko, Arise News, Asaba, Delta.